Hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel, Carissa Reads Books, where we talk about books, books, and more books. Um, today we're going to be doing a reading vlog with King of Scars. I haven't read this book yet. I've read Shadow and Bone and Six of Crows, but I've not read this duology. Um, and so I picked up the first book. I'm excited to read it. So, oh, by the way, we may also be going to the bookstore in this reading vlog at some point. Um, I ended up getting up a uh, gift card to my favorite bookstore. Um, uh, but I don't know if I'm going to be going this week. So, you may or may not get a bonus bookstore trip out of this vlog. Anyways, let's get started reading King of Scars. Real quick, I also forgot to mention how pretty the cover is. Like, look, it's very gold, very shiny. Um, the design's absolutely brilliant. Um, spine. Like, even the font on the back, I really like the font. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about this book, so I'm really excited to read it and get started. Uh, and I really like the other books, so if this is not the same standard, I'm going to be disappointed, but I, I highly doubt that. It's, if this is Lee Bardugo we're talking about, okay? It's gonna be good. <laughs> okay, last thing before I start the reading vlog, I promise... But if I randomly start fanning myself while I'm reading, it's because Kaz Brecker was mentioned. Okay, so I'm only like 11, 12 pages in, and every time they mention the saints and like Halloween is a saint, I'm, I just start laughing. I just start laughing. It's like every time in Six of Crows. <laughs> Anyways, back to reading. <laughs> It is the next day. I have not done any reading today. Um, I have not, yeah, no reading. I haven't done any writing either. It's just been a very chaotic morning. Um, it's just gonna be a very busy day in general, so I don't know how much reading I'm going to actually get done. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of work today, a lot of different places I'm going to go. I'm not going to vlog any of that because it's just personal business. It's not going to be fun. It's not a fun bookstore trip, which is still being debated. Anyways, um, last night, reading King of Scars. Yes. <laughs> Introduction, like I said, is very, very good. I really like that. Um, I'm trying not to give away any spoilers as I think about what to say about it because, again, it's a really good introduction. Um, you can easily see character problems and, like, the internal problems and also the some of the external problems they're facing, um, which I really like. I think that's great, um, especially since I write and I try to do that with my characters. Um, and then also, if you have not read Shadow and Bone or Six of Crows, don't read this book until you've read those. Um, well, I think you could read, like, Shadow and Bone and maybe get most of it. But if you haven't read Six of Crows, the Six of Crows duology, you're going to get a lot of stuff spoiled. <laughs> I mean, yeah, certain things spoiled. And if you know, you know. I'm still emotionally scarred from it. Anyways, i got to do some work. i got to work on my Etsy store. 
go to some classes and then a Bible study later. And then if I do read later, I'll try to remember to vlog about it later. But I might forget. There's a very good chance I will forget. Hello again to the rest of humanity. I, it's the next day. I read maybe a chapter last night. I think not much reading none. It was still more of like building onto the beginning, which is still good. Um, but also, like I mentioned, going to the bookstore. And um, <laughs> I didn't actually go to the bookstore I wanted to today, the one I was intending to. But I ended up meeting a friend at the mall today. And we were walking around and I discovered that one of the indie bookstores in my state, one of the larger ones, um, now has a little bookstore in the mall. I did not get any footage of it. I didn't even think to get footage. But I'm going to show you what I bought. I told myself one book. And I actually surprisingly stuck to that. Um, so this is what I got. I know I've had a few of this author's books on my TBR. Um, and so it turns out that was one of them. I couldn't remember which ones, um, so I ended up just grabbing that one. So I'm excited to read that. All right. Um, I should be able to get some more reading in today. Um, and I will definitely vlog that. I will definitely be reading today. So we finished King of Scars by Lee Bardugo. It was really good. You don't get to see my notes. You don't get to see my notes on what I liked, didn't like. You get to hear about them, but you can't see them yet. Um, yeah, it took me a few days to get through it. Um, I, I really enjoyed this book. I did end up giving it five stars on Goodreads this morning um, after I finished it. It was just so good. Um, it was more like it had more of the shadow in bone feel than six of crows feel um but then again like it may have the shadow and bone feel but it's still like in a kind of different ballpark um this book focuses on zoya nikolai i'm gonna like screw up all these names i'm sorry guys um and then nina um so it focuses on them in their perspectives and I'm, I'm trying not to say any spoilers because i know i don't like hearing spoilers um but what i did like about this book was that um the background stories there were a lot of background stories for the different characters and like i know in the six of crows duology nina has a background story but it's not of like her personal personal life when she's younger like in this one um so i really like reading that i found that super interesting and of course you didn't get any major background story in shadow and bone for either of the other two characters so i really enjoyed that uh and getting to just know the characters more um, and I'm going to be honest, the ending, the ending, the ending, the ending, like the last paragraph, I can't even, 
I got excited. I got really excited. I'm really ready to read the, ne- the next book, the sequel. Um, and I'm really, I'm really excited to read that because the ending just got me. It, to me, it was a good ending. <laughs> to me, if you've read it, you know, you know what I mean. Mm. Anyways, um, sadly, with things I like, there's also something I dislike because, like, not everything's gonna be perfect. Not everybody's gonna have perfect writing that I enjoy. There's always going to be something I'm going to dislike, usually, typically. Unless you're Brandon Sanderson or Rebecca Ross, you guys are fine. <laughs> um, so something I didn't like about this was that it felt like the beginning took too long. I felt like half the book was just the beginning and the introduction. And then after, like, this, once it got to the second half, it started rolling. Um, but I know I felt like that with Shadow and Bone. Um, and that was a, I thought it was a good series. Like, I know it's popular, but like, I, in general, I just thought it was pretty interesting, pretty creative. Um, and then, so for this one as well, I felt like it was pretty interesting. Like, again, the beginning was interesting, but after a while, it was just like, I, I'm waiting for, I felt like I was waiting for something to go on. But then when something did happen, it was like, boom, something exploded. I don't know. It was like, it was like, I don't know how else to explain it. Um, but I that was the only thing I didn't really like about this. I felt like once it hit the second half and things got rolling, I was like, whoa, whoa, this is pretty cool. Um and so I would definitely recommend this book. I would recommend this, especially if you like already like the Grishaverse. Am I botching that? I'm probably botching it. I'm sorry, everybody. Um but if you already like those books, I'd definitely give this one a read. Um, and again, I gave it five stars on my Goodreads. So again, if you've read it, and leave me your thoughts in the comments below on the book and what you like disliked about it, what your rating is, because I'd like to see that. I'd be interested. No spoilers, because I do know people out there who are like, I don't want to hear any spoilers. So do not put spoilers down there. Um, so thank you for watching my reading vlog, aka what turned into the Kaz Brecker skeptic hunt. I enjoyed that. I think it was like six when I was editing throughout. I think there was uh, six mentions of Kaz Brecker. So if you've read it and you counted six, or if you counted more, let me know because maybe I got two into the book and missed one. Um, so, but yeah, if you liked it, um, hit the like button, go share it with somebody you think would like it. Um, and yeah, if you want me to do something like this again, let me know down in the comments below. Okay. See you next time.